Hey guys, it is Marianne from Thrive and welcome to my channel. Now, in today's video, we are going to have a look at how you can record a voiceover inside PowerPoint to allow you to narrate an individual slide or an entire slideshow. So if you've got a presentation and what you want to do is be able to put your best version forward, and it's always great for being able to use it over and over again without having to refer to your notes or use up your valuable time, recording a voiceover for a particular slide or, as I said, an entire slideshow is a great way to document what you need to get across that supports and enhances the presentation or the content on the slide. And it also means that you've got that information locked in and attached to the slide or the whole presentation. So we're gonna have a look at doing it here with this example I've got. Um, now, there are a couple of things to note. I am working in a Mac. I'm working on a Mac. I'm working on the desktop version. So this um, voice and gestures and, and video presence that you wanna do is the same as a presentation. So you can play it as a slideshow with that voiceover built in, or you can then save the presentation as a video file. Now there is a video that is due to come out shortly after this one goes live. So there will be another video in the playlist on my channel that talks about how to save it as a video and get the best out of that. So rather than just giving your slideshow over to someone, like sending the presentation to someone, you can include your own passion and personality and you know insights with that, that information. Now, I am working on the Mac, so there are a couple of different things to know. Um, whether you, now, if you work on PowerPoint for the web, this is not an option for you. So PowerPoint on the web at the time of recording, which is May 2025, does not support recording a slideshow. You need to be using a desktop version. If you're on the Mac, you're going to have a couple of options that I, you can see here. So I've got this option up at the top of hitting record. We've also got a record tab. And in the record tab, I can do some recording tools here. If you are working on a PC, um, there is a new experience and a classic experience. In the new experience, you will have your recording tools up the top here, and you'll have the option to record from here. Um, alternatively, um, you'll have these options under the record tab. If you are working in the classic version, it may look a little bit different. I'm just opening up some information to help me. So in the classic experience, you need to actually turn on that recording tab and that will be by going into your file and your preferences and looking at the tab, the ribbon and the toolbar. And you'll have to actually from this drop down, you'll have to actually include the record which I've got over here, you'll have to actually move the record one across and set it up. So the classic one doesn't automatically have the record tab included. If you are in the new version, the new experience, you should have this button up the top and you should have the record tab here as well. If you don't, again, from on a PC, it would be file. Um, on my Mac here, it's my preferences and then your ribbon and toolbar set up. OK, so it's really important to make sure that you've got that set up before we start. So when we're in here, a couple of things you should know is that when we jump to now, this will be interesting because of the way my screen is set up. So I've got a couple of things in the record option that we can do. We can insert a cameo. And if I turn my camera on, I'll just change that to now. It's going to decide and I can resize this and I can move it around. So if you've worked with other software that helps you to do this sort of work uh, with your presentations, you will have seen this tool before. So this will, when we go into recording mode, this is going to put my face in there so I'll be able to wave at you. So I will switch that at the moment to my um, main camera from my Mac uh, because I think that's where it it tends to come out. All right, so this is, if I've got this all set up, you don't need to have a cameo. So I can just, I can simply remove this and it's not an issue. And then it will simply be the slide on the whole screen. So 
we hit the I'm going to put the cameo in just so you can see what it does so let me pop that back in I'll bring it over here I want it to be quite small because goodness me I don't need to see that much of my face so we'll pop that down here you can put it anywhere you like um, you can also you can see once the camera's in you can actually um, there's a few different shapes and things you can do so if you want to you can have it as a square you can have it as a little round with a border or without a border, whatever, you know, a little soft focus, whatever you like. Um, I'm going to go for that sort of standard one that we had. Um, I'm going to bring it down into the corner so I'm hopefully out of the way. And we can do a preview with the camera as well. So if I turn my camera on, it's not going to let me do it because I'm recording at the moment, I would say. No, it's because I'm recording. So we'll see how this goes. It may not actually work on mine because I'm recording at the same time. So if I hit the record button, now on the screen that I'm sharing with you, you can see this. So I'm going to pause this and jump across to a different screen. Bear with me just a second. Okay, so I had to switch uh, record. I had to jump to a new recording so that I could switch the screen. So. This is the presenter view of your recording. So when you're working with the slides, we've got a couple of options here. We can record a presentation or a, a voiceover per slide, or we can just roll through the whole slideshow. So when you hit record, you can see here, I've got 25 seconds recorded somewhere. So I'm just gonna see where that one is. That one there. So this one has 25, this one has 15 seconds. Uh, and this one has four. And I think this one maybe has, this one has five. So there you go. That's my, that's my 25 seconds. So what happens is on a, I'm going to go right back to the beginning there with me on this slide, I've got the option here. So this is the total recording time for the presentation. This is the total recording time for the slide. So the first part here is for the slide. This is the total for the presentation. When I hit record, it will record and if I run through and start moving from slide to slide as I record, it will recognize when I've moved slides. So I'll end up with a timing that it automatically puts together for me for my individual slides or I can manually record, stop, record, stop, record, stop and I can record individual pieces for specific slides. Now this might be useful if there are slides that don't need a voiceover, you can just skip to the ones that do. When it's all done, you'll be able to play it through and watch the whole slideshow. Now you can also from here, you can adjust your video, you can adjust your microphone. This view is the presenter view, which is really handy because it gives you a lot of information on a single screen. So I've got the slide that is currently visible or that we're doing the voiceover for or the recording for. I can see what's coming next. I can see my notes, which means if I want to use it like a script, I can follow it that way. And I can see all of the slides here at the bottom. Now, my other option here is to jump to teleprompter view, which is a much simpler view. So I can see the current slide and I can treat my notes as a, an actual teleprompt or an auto cue. So I can run with that and read that and record per slide. Over time, once I'm, um, if I'm not happy with something, I can, when I'm on a slide, I'll jump to a slide that does have a recording on it. This one here, if I'm not happy with the recording, I can simply delete it. You can see this is 15 seconds worth. If I delete this, you'll see there are still nine seconds left. I've removed the from this slide only. So you would have to go through and remove all of them unless you go back to the very beginning um, into, your, into PowerPoint itself where you can clear all recordings. So this is what people are seeing. Um, I'm just jumping from, so these are the other options in our presenter view. Um, these are my keyboard shortcuts. So, and I'm on a Mac, so mine looks a little bit different. So you'll get a countdown when you hit record. And you can also, while you're here, whether you're in this view or the presenter view, you can use the laser pointer. You can use the um, colored pens or the highlighters to mark up the slides. And that will all get recorded into your recording as well. Narration doesn't record during your slide transition, so you need to let those play first before you start speaking. So remember that. And then um, at the end, you can review and play your video. 
And then the last step you'll do is to convert that and export it as a video if you want to. And I have another video over on my um, back on the channel in my PowerPoint playlist that will walk you through how to do that and get the best outcomes as well. So this has given you a chance, hopefully, to see how you can work with different um, elements in your presentation without having to use other tools and learn new software and worry so much about how that's all going to come together. So I hope it's given you some insight into how you could be using your presentations, getting a little bit more out of them, and hopefully securing yourself uh, a, a sort of a piece of content that is much more usable and user-friendly and easy for you to give to people and for them to get exactly what they need from it. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's um, the best way to get notified if there are new videos and content available. If you've got any questions about what you've seen in this video, then remember to, you can either comment below and I will get back to you, or you can get in touch with Thrive directly. You'll find me hanging out on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn under Thrive Admin Services, and I'm always happy to chat all things Microsoft and Microsoft uh, uh, PowerPoint and Microsoft 365. Thanks again, and I will see you in another video soon. Cheers.